Okay, everyone. Hello, this is Ginny. Ginny is an intuitive, a healer, and a higher consciousness activator. So, Ginny, I've got three questions for you, and yep. one of them is, what is your advice for people that are just starting out with ET contact? Okay, my advice is literally no expectations. And come into it with an open heart, no expectations, um, no fear, because there is nothing to fear either. Um, there are many, many people having contact now. And from, from my experience, it's been a wonderful experience each time and, and really exciting and um, often actually very loving the feeling that you get. So I would have no expectations. Please don't be fearful. Don't believe what you see in the movies and things like that because it's not actually like that. It's a beautiful experience. And um, I... I'm very excited about people coming into this being new. And I'm also still extremely excited every time I get contact still. So it's it's a wonderful experience. So just no expectations. Be open, be loving, and the highest vibration that you can be and the best person you can be. And you will attract like-minded beings to you. Yeah, that's beautiful advice. It's kind of hard to do to get that yeah. level of uh, openness that it's okay to not get exactly what you're looking for yeah. right away. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. And it's wonderful. It is. It's so exciting. Like the, yeah. the it doesn't end the thrilling moments no matter how many sightings you have. Yeah. Um, okay, so my second question is, what would your average C5 look like? Okay. Um, we've had several groups uh, actually to our place and we've, I've also been on a few C5 training events, uh, at two actually, this one is one and that one last year. Um, the average is as long as everyone in the group is uh, blending and everyone's in a good happy space, loads of activity. Uh, if there has been a little bit of um, something going on with people or, or not particularly good feelings perhaps previous to them coming, then that can affect actually the activity that uh, you get. Um, so the average one, we get flash bulbs, we get flybys, we get what looks like shooting stars, but are they or aren't they? I'll leave that one with you. <laughs> Um, and, uh, you know, we also get on the ground, which is great, yeah. Get on the ground, meaning what? On the ground, we get the feeling of beings. I mean, I'm fairly open spiritually anyway, and I see energy. Yeah. So um, we often get the feeling like actually they've come down and they're actually on the ground. In a group, when we're sat in circle, often we felt them behind or even heard footsteps. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and because you can see energy, you can actually see and yeah. sense intuitively. Yeah, yeah. And even uh, last night in the group, I, I can actually see the energy of the group. Mm -hmm. And once we're yes. all open and expanded, the energy is just right out there. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, very yeah, it's really cool. cool. Yeah. Okay. And then my third question for you is, what is your story? Okay, my story. Um, I've always been open to energy right from a kid. I've sensed energy and I've sensed spirit. And I believe now that I've, even as a child, had ET experiences. But I was very, very frightened of it then. Didn't understand it. Didn't understand what was going on. Couldn't see then. So it only felt. Um, the first time I actually saw my first ET with my conscious mind was probably about 11 years ago and uh, I was I had been to a spiritual workshop all day and I was round a friend's house um, for dinner that night and it was me and my husband and my two friends who do not believe in any of this stuff and the ranch slider was behind them which is a glass door uh, the curtains were open it was a summer evening and I could see the stars outside and I felt the atmosphere in the room change because I can feel energy 
and then the light above my friend's head started going absolutely crazy and she thought the, it was just the bulb was going well I knew different so I then thought well, I've got to check the lights out in the other house, a part of the house so I walked down the hall went to the bathroom the lights in there were still they were flickering as well but not as intensely um, and then uh, came back, sat down, the light's still going crazy, and I'm just looking out in between my two friends, and I'm looking out the ranch slider, and for about 10 seconds, a small grey being materialised, and I saw them, yeah, and they were looking straight at me, and literally that lasted for about 10 seconds, and then they dematerialised, and yeah, it was amazing. And from that moment on, I knew I was being watched, didn't know why, absolutely no idea why. I was working as a healer at the time, so I was had my healing practice working on clients. Um, eventually, in that room, the atmosphere changed again and the light bulb went out. And I do like to get confirmation about things happening. So I saw my friend about a week later and I said to her, oh, by the way, did your bulb go? And she went, oh... No, actually, my bulbs are fine, yeah. Yeah, so that was my confirmation that actually that had all taken place. Um, and then, anyway, about three to four months after that, in my healing practice, this being came in, and she looked like she was in hologram form, because I could see it energetically, and I could see it with my third eye, so I wasn't seeing her with these eyes. I could see it with my third eye, and she would always stand in the same corner of my healing while I was working on clients, she would put images in my mind to actually do a client. And she would show me the network of energy over the client and to be able to pull things down of light out of the, what I call the quantum field or the unified field, and to pull things down to connect the client up really to, to the essence of light and healing and love and everything else that's in the field that's all around us. And she stayed with me doing that for about three to four months. Every time I was working on a client she would come in and um, it was pretty amazing and I feel very very blessed wow. to have had that experience. Yeah I would like to share one experience we had at a C5 yeah, if that's okay. Do, yes. Um, and it was kind of really impromptu. It was me and my daughter at home. My husband was away and my two friends, one from Auckland and a lady from America, were coming down to stay with us. And we thought, oh, while they're here, we'll just go out and sit and do a C5. Not really planned or anything. We were just going to sit outside and sit under the stars. And then after, um, well, actually it was before we were going to have dinner one night, we were out on our deck and one friend of mine was over by a tree and another friend was, uh, oh, my daughter was actually by our garden which is around the side of our house and then all of a sudden we got a ground flash, ground yeah, flash. yeah, which which literally for about three seconds the whole ground lights up. Three seconds? Yeah. That's a long time. Roughly for about three th seconds, yeah. My, my daughter actually thought I was shining a torch on her. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> she was so blown away because it came from above and lit us all up, yeah. all, all the land as well. Wow. Yeah. Um, and we were all like, oh, my God, this is so good. And my, uh, my daughter was so blown away by it. That was her first major experience that really proved it to her. Yeah that there is something out Undeniable. there. Undeniable. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And then just after that, my friend was toning by the tree and then we heard a male voice toning along with her. Oh, wow. Which I feel was actually spirit, not yep. E.T. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Wow, that's fantastic. It was an amazing experience. That's so good. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, got a bee on me. We have bees. <laughs> we have bees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Aww. Oh, wonderful! Thank you so much, Jenny. That is incredible. Any oh, any thoughts about like why 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 are you doing C five? What's the draw? What's the reason? The draw is, and I know this is part of my mission, is to help other people understand that, that there is so much more going on than what we see with the human eye, and that as beings ourselves, we are so much more powerful than what we have been led to believe. 
Um, and I know that the whole of humanity is waking up and it's a process. And there are many people out there that are having experiences that are needing people to come to for help or to help them understand what's going on. And I'm finding this in my own practice, actually. Um, and so that's why I'm here. I know it's my mission to actually help other people become who they truly are. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. What a great reason. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Any last thoughts or anything like that? Um, really, for anyone coming into this new, as a newbie, just release all fear. Everything that you've been taught in the media, not true. These beings that come and visit us and, and come and help us, they are loving beings. That's, that's it. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. You. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Sorry about the wind. I tried to fix it. So take a look at these light codes that Ginny receives and hears. She says that they are recognized by the body, each cell and the soul, and that they are part of an activation for people as they go through their ascension. We have two group members that have started to see these codes on our CE5 experiences. And if you remember Samoya Shelley Yates' story, when she began to put together her website, which reached tens of millions of people to participate in a group meditation around the world, the multidimensional extraterrestrial beings that gave her the instructions to design the website gave her three symbols to put on the splash page with the explanation that when people see them, it will help them to remember. So that's a confirmation to me that light codes and multidimensional extraterrestrials seem to go together and that they are part of an exciting and magical step on our journey to figure out who we really are. If you want to learn more about light codes, you can go to Jeannie's website and you can ask her yourself. If you want to learn more about contact and what that is all about, you can go to the ET Contact Hub where you can find diverse resources from all over the world and you can look through the stuff and find something that resonates with you. Our free book is also there if you want to check that out. I hope that this interview with Ginny has inspired you and given you a bit of motivation to get yourself out under the stars so that you can have your own cool experiences.